easy way to pour cast by using dental stone. Hey everyone, assalamu alaikum. It's me Zobia and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to talk about how to pour up an alginate impression and I will try my best to give you a few tips. During my school time it was one of the lab which I feel like oh I don't think so I'm going to make it. I feel like it's super hard. But, but the key is if you follow all the points precisely you will get a best result. So before we waste time, let's get started. So all you need are six things. That's it. The one is bowel, the two is spatula, the third is vibrator, the fourth is dental stone, the fifth is water, which is mushroom water. It depends on you where you're working, either you're in a school or you're in a clinic. So you will know exactly what's the amount of the dental stone or water you are taking. So that and the last is your impression, which you're gonna pour it. So let's get started. So I set up the bowel spatula and the vibrator. The first step is unwrap the impression and rinse under cold water. And after that you can dry it but avoid dehydrating the impression. Get an appropriate amount of water in a bowl and add a powder and then mix it well. Mix together approximately 30 seconds. It helps to reduce the air bubble. Third step is place a bowl on dental vibrator for 15 seconds. This helps to decrease the air bubble in the mixture. Place impression against the side of vibrator and place a small amount of stone into the impression on one posterior side of the impression, allowing the stone to flow into the cusp and incisal edge of the teeth. Always add the next increment of stone at the same side, never go from side to side. Continue this routine until all the teeth are filled with stone. Remove tray from vibrator and place a large amount of stone to cover the whole area of impression, ensuring there are no voids. Use the same technique for the both maxillary and mandibular impression. Place the remaining dental stone onto the dental slab and invert the impression tray onto the patty base. Next step is press and remove the excess stone by using the spatula. This is how the maxillary cast look like and this one is a mandibular cast. We remove the excess material so it's easy to separate when it's dry. Wait for one hour, meanwhile we clean the area. The last step is very important to remove the cast from the impression material. So be very gentle while removing. Otherwise it can break any teeth or might cause a crack. Here you go, our final cast look like. Once you reach to that point, you can trim and finish the cast stone. We all done. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon for the latest videos.